Do you see the love in the people who are struggling for the earth dance? The sooner we work together, the more we we'll have a chance. For the love that sets you free, only love can set us free. Give us strength to live, and give us strength to work. For your education, for your food, for your people, for the nature of your place. Well, it's time to plant. Wonder what all this snow is doing here. How am I going to plant with all this snow in the way? I can't even get up into the garden. Steps are all covered up there. My walkway is. Hmm. I don't know. All right. We're. Uh, this is February 3rd, and at February 1st we were going to uh, start our plants, but uh, it snowed on February 1st, and you saw the snow in the earlier frame. Uh, so here we are indoors, and. We've got some soil, potting soil, that was left over, very dry. Um, you have to, even when you buy brand new potting soil, uh, it's got any peat moss in it, you've got to uh, put water in it in order to, uh, look at this, see, it's, it's, uh, it's just really crumbly and the water will just sit up on top of that. It won't go down into the plants at all. So the first thing is to add uh, moisture, some water to the, uh, to the potting soil and then uh, I'll show you the next step in a second. Okay, uh, we have uh, our flats here and they're made of these of these little six packs and uh, I have 12 six packs in this so that makes 72 plants I can grow. I choose that over the ones with, with 60 plant, uh, uh, it would be 10 six, uh, six packs which would be 60 plants. And uh, the reason I choose the 72 is because I need, uh, I don't have a whole lot of space to grow these things, so I need to grow a lot of plants in order to, to work out my, my uh, beds. <clears throat> now the uh, advantage with the uh, little larger cell is that the plants don't get root bound so fast. And that will cause you trouble later in growing the plants if you get root bound. So you have to take, take care of that. So. That's not. Okay, here we are. Now we've got to fill this with the moist uh, potting soil. And so, uh, I did think you had enough to put plastic down. Um, so, I'm just going to pile it on. And then I move it around on top of the, the flat. And I'm going to get all of the cells filled with soil. Could you shut that door, please? Okay, that's good. Okay, what I'm doing now is uh, I'm making a little depression in each one where I'm going to put the seed. You don't want to put your finger clear to the bottom because the seed won't be able to make it up through all that soil. So I just make a little depression here and um, like that and then uh, that's good. Okay, it says we have a 94% uh, germination rate. So I'm going to go ahead and put one seed in each compartment, each cell. And if I get two in there, that's okay. I'll have to just pull one of them up later. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop a seed in each hole. And then... Okay, that's good. Okay, um, now we put a seed in each compartment, and so I'm going to take a little extra potting soil uh, just that I've spilled before, and I'm just going to run it over the top of all of the 
uh, cells, cover over those little seeds so they'll stay nice and moist. These happen to be collards. Um, these are cool season plants. Uh, we're putting them in, uh, as I said, February the 3rd, and we think they'll be ready by March the 20th. Uh, so you put them in too much later, and you're not ready by the time you could put them in. Depends on the weather, too. If it's real cold, we can't. We have to delay, then the, the plants will get root bound. So we just have to, to gamble. Just gamble. Thank you. Okay, the next step is that I put the, uh, um, the flat into a pail of water. You can see here that, uh, and so I'm letting it soak up completely so that those seeds are going to be nice and wet and they'll be uniformly uh, watered. The problem with uh, uh, some of this planting is that if you don't keep the seeds uniformly watered, uh, then you have germ different germination times. So we're still spreading it out. Uh, I planted the first ones on the third, and this is now the seventh. And I still have some more to plant. So I'll get some, some more seeds in today, maybe tomorrow. I hope that's the last, uh, uh, because I don't want them all spread out uh, in height. Okay, so. Uh, when they're finished here, I take them over to the light uh, stand that you can see here. And if you look underneath, you can see that the plants are coming up. And look how close those lights are to the plants. You want to keep the, the, the lights down within one inch of the plants if you can. And that's about what I got here. Otherwise, they'll get all stretched out, called etoliation, and uh, they'll die if they if they get too stretched out. So you got to several things you got to take into consideration. So I'll just uh, I'll fertilize these maybe once or twice a week, and uh, I'll show you what the fertilizer is um, uh, in a little bit. Thanks. Bye. Well, here's the fertilizer. <clears throat> it's uh, Omega 2000 from Peaceful Valley. It's organic. Um, you dilute it according to the uh, directions. And then um, I often make a, a water bath and just soak the plants in it like you saw in the last film clip. Um, however, that's kind of expensive because you have left over that you don't quite know what to do with. I don't know whether I can get a better shot of the label for you. I guess you can look it up. I believe they're groworganics.com. It's there, but the light's in the... Yeah, groworganic.com. <coughs> Full gallon. And um, it's high in phosphorus and potassium. And uh, that helps the root growth of the little plants. And that's uh, real helpful in uh, doing transplants. So I think that's enough. Good luck.